In the 1960s, the United States initiated a research and development program for a new generation of infantry fighting vehicles, and the result of the project was the Bradley M2 Infantry Fighting Vehicle, which entered service in 1981. In 1972, Colt Company obtained another project, which was to develop new vehicle-mounted light weapons for the M2 Infantry Fighting Vehicle. At that time, most of the vehicle crews in the U.S. military used equipment like the M3 submachine gun, which was small in size and convenient for use inside the vehicle, but was less powerful. The M16 assault rifle was good, but it was too long and required some modifications, so Colt Company developed the M231 rifle based on the M16. The M231 shares 65% of its parts with the M16A1 assault rifle and is chambered for the 5.56mm NATO standard ammunition using a 30-round magazine. It has a heavy-duty short barrel that can withstand long periods of firing and a shortened receiver with a total weight of 3.9 kilograms. The rifle only has a full auto mode and can theoretically achieve a firing rate of 1050 rounds per minute. Initially, the designers were concerned that the high firing rate would lead to excessive ammunition consumption. So they modified the buffer and recoil systems to reduce the firing rate to 200 rounds per minute. The shooter can use mechanical sights for aiming, and it also has a simple retractable stock similar to the M3 submachine gun. However, the production version removed the stock and sights and added threads to the front handguard allowing it to be mounted on the spherical machine gun mounts on the sides of the M2 fighting vehicle. The rate limiter was also modified to allow the firing rate to be changed by adjusting the recoil spring. The rifle is only issued with M196 tracers during wartime, and the shooter adjusts the firing direction by observing the trajectory of the bullets. Hearing protection devices are required for use inside the vehicle, and the rifle can also be disassembled for use. The M231 has high shooting accuracy, but it is not very important for the vehicle crew of the infantry fighting vehicle. The effective range of the rifle is 300 meters, which is not the effective killing distance of the bullets, but rather the distance at which the tracer at the base of the bullet burns out at around 300 meters. A spent shell recovery bag is also required for use inside the vehicle to prevent scattered shell casings from causing soldiers to slip. The M231 entered service in the 1980s, and although later versions of the M2 infantry fighting vehicle removed the external firing port, it is still used as a self-defense weapon for armored units. It has been used in real combat situations such as the Gulf War, and it seems that it has not been retired at this time.